In this episode of Open Source Craft, I'll be showing you how to get started with Bulma, a CSS framework that will save you hours of time and energy. If you haven't already seen our video on why you should be using Bulma, check out that link right up there. Without further ado, let's get coding. Here's the project we will be coding today built off of the Bulma columns. As you can see, there are three columns here. In each of those columns is a card, and above that is a hero section. If we head over to bulma.io and look at the documentation, there is a getting started page. You can npm install Bulma, or you can do like I have and go to the starter template, take these two links here, and put them into your HTML like so. The first line is going to be importing the font awesome library so that you can use those external icons with your Bulma components. For the top part of this website, we are going to create a hero section. The way to do that is we'll create a section element with a class name of hero. Inside of that is gonna go a div for the hero body and that hero body is gonna contain something. So let's make a div with the container and what it will contain is an h1 which will say code in quotes and an h2 which will say like your favorites now i'll hit save and now i see it on my page because i am using a live reload now we're going to add a class name here of title and then we'll add a class name here of subtitle we save we can see that it has changed if I want to make this title bigger or smaller, if we look at the documentation, we can do that by adding a modifier class of is1 through is6. The lower the number, the higher the size of that title. So I'm going to add an is1 modifier class, and now my title has just gotten larger. And then if I can add the modifier class of is primary, and that'll change this background color here to the main primary color of your design palette, which you can modify through Bulma, because again, it's built on SAS, which allows you to do so. Great, so now that concludes the top portion of the site. We'll go down here into the columns, and this code that I'm going to paste is from the part one of this video series where I explain why you should be using Bulma. You can see our columns are showing up here in the web page, but we don't just want the numbers one, two, three, of course, we want to add content within them. So I'll delete this one, and within the column, I'll add a div for the class name of card. Inside that card, I need another div for card content. Now we can see our card on the page. So what are these cards going to contain? They'll contain a few things. It'll contain a space for a quote in an H2, and we'll say you are a title, and then an H3 for the author of that quote. And if I add a class of subtitle, you'll see it moves up closer to that title for readability. Cool, so now we will add a footer here, and we'll give it a class name of card footer. Again, very readable, obvious class names, which is one of the great things about Bulma. And then inside there, we'll make a card footer item and give it its class name accordingly. Now we can see it on the page. And what this card footer item is going to contain is three buttons, which we will make with A tags. So if I add the class of button here, now we can see the button. But we don't just want the word button here, so we'll delete that. What we want to go in here is an icon. And for this, we'll pull in a font awesome icon. So now we got a thumbs up. And if we wanted to change the color here, we can add a modifier class of is success. Is success in Bulma is going to be a green color. Much like our columns, if we repeat the card footer items, they will also take up however much space within their parent container as there are items, so that you can see it's divided into thirds. 
So we can just switch this to a thumbs down, switch this one to retweet. We can add is danger to make it a red color and is info here to make it our blue. We can now go ahead and take this whole card, switch it out for the content of this column, then switch it out for the content of this column. Now we have quickly iterated on these Bulma components to create a attractive web page. If I change the viewport here, as you can see, it goes from horizontal to vertically stacked. So hopefully you can see how easy it is to use Bulma to mock something up really quickly. So there you have it. In just a few quick minutes, we were able to create an attractive web page using Bulma. If you're interested in more Bulma specific content, click the link below and we'll let you know when that's published. If you like this video, give us a like and comment and subscribe for more open source craft content.